from gardening to animals to extreme renovations. Welcome to Homesteading at College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today we're talking about potting up from paper towel germination. Now I'm going to go over how we pot up our plants from paper towel germination. Uh, the beautiful thing is they'll be up tomorrow. I'll put them in the pots today and they'll be up tomorrow. So in the next video I'll show you how we set up our lights to uh, make it easy to do these. Now what do you need to pot up your stuff from paper towel germination? Of course you need where that came from. You need your seeds from your paper towel germination. You need some pots. Now we reuse our pots. Uh, the one I have here is not a reused pot. It's a it's a new one. But uh, I only have one of these left. I'm going to use it for this demonstration but I'll be reusing others in the next one. Uh, all I do when I reuse the pots is I make up a solution with a, a cup of Clorox and a gallon of water and uh, I wash them out good with just tap water and then uh, and I do it out to speck it outside and get all the dirt and all that stuff out of them. And then I rinse them good with uh, heavy Clorox water and let them dry so that's all I do to them and I haven't had a problem with uh, diseases in my in my plants so <clears throat> okay so you need this this is a, a tray that's gonna hold water because I bottom water okay all of mine I bottom water them uh, that's the best way to uh, keep your small seedlings from damping off as far as I'm concerned some people might say I'm totally wrong I, well, that's all right. This is just the way I do it, and that's what I show you on the channel. Now, as far as pot and soil, I go to the dollar store and buy $1 a bag pot and soil. I don't buy expensive pot and soil. I don't buy pot and soil that has been, uh, had nutrients and all that stuff added to it extra. Uh, I just want my pot and soil to hold water uh, and to be a medium for the plants to grow because I don't want the plants to get real leggy, to grow really fast, because if they grow really fast, you know, they don't develop a good stem and they're just not a good healthy plant. And I'll show you what I do to help them develop a good healthy stem too when I show you my light setup. Now, uh, I'll go ahead and get some, uh, some soil in these pots. Like I say, I don't, I don't want fertilized pot and mix I don't fertilize my seedlings. Uh, these are going to be in the pots for uh, eight weeks. It's March the... No, I'm sorry. It's April the 3rd. Uh, it's, uh, I'm a little late getting these out. But I'm shooting for these being ready uh, just about June the 1st. Because these are peppers and stuff. They like hot weather. So they're going to be going in in mid-May to up to June the 1st. So eight good weeks is all they're going to need. Uh, they've already had a week to germinate. As a matter of fact, we're actually 11 days or 12 days in to getting these to germinate because they're peppers. Peppers take a long time to germinate. So... All right, I'll get some soil in some of these, and then I'll show you how to do the germination part. Okay, here we are. I've got a packet of soil ready to go and put my plants in. <clears throat> I've got the plants here. But now, this is my sweet banana peppers. Well... This set of seeds was seven years old. I wanted to see if it would sprout. Well, none of these sweet banana peppers have sprouted. So I'll have to start another set of seeds from a newer batch of seed that I've, I've got plenty of. So it's not a big deal. These will just come in a little bit later. Okay. Now, this pepper is a poblano. And let me hold it up there close 
so you can see the little sprouts. Okay, those have started to sprout. So they're ready to go ahead and put in the containers. So I'll go ahead and open the bag. Now it takes peppers a long time to sprout. Now what I do is I just go ahead and rip the bag open. Okay, because I'm not going to save any of these back. I've got seed saved back if I have to start another bunch. But, and I'll push this back over in case some of these don't come up after I put them in the container. Now, all I'll do is I'll take one of these seeds, and I'll take a pocket knife or, or something. Probably my pocket knife because that's what I've got handy. I'll take a pocket knife and then reach up under there and get the seed and its little foot that it puts out. See, it puts out this little long foot. Okay? And then I take that and I just put it in, the, take the soil, make a dimple. Up oh, there's a rock. This soil sometimes have has little rocky things in it. Make a dimple and make sure that whole thing is just covered with a little bit of dirt. Then I'll bottom water that so that there'll be water and uh, I'll go on and I'll get this whole thing filled then I'll come back to you. Alright, I've got all eight pots uh, with a pepper in them. So that's eight pavano peppers. But now you're going to forget these. You're going to forget which ones are which unless you mark them. Now, I like to use these little craft sticks, but they're too long to begin with because I'm going to put the lights right on top of these. So I break off a little bit so that it just leaves a little bit sticking out. And all I do is I use an abbreviation. I'll put a P for Poblano and then just stick that in there. Anytime I do a, a four cell pot, everything in the cell is the same. Everything in all the cells are the same. So I don't uh, have to worry about marking each cell. So all the cells are the same. But I do it, I put a marker for all of them. That way, I know that these are poblano peppers. Now, I'll record it in my cell phone, peas for poblanos, because pea could be for something else, too, okay? Because I know I've got Anaheim peppers here, and I've got uh, Alma paprika peppers, so they'll have to get two different things. So I, the Alma paprika peppers may be AP, and the Anaheims may be AN, but I'll record that in my phone so that I don't get confused. And then I'll show you the unique way I do it in the garden so I don't get confused because I have never grown uh, paprika peppers and I have never grown poblano peppers. So I don't know exactly what they look like in the garden. And so I don't want to get confused about what they are. I'm going to mark them a specific way and I'm going to show you how I do that. But I'm just going to use popsicle sticks and put in so that now I know that those four are marked. Now I've got eight flats to do in order to get ready and then uh, I'll be ready to put them under the lights and in that video I'll show you how to set your lights up without killing yourself. You don't have to be perfect with the lights. I'll show you what to do. Our first flat's done. Uh, it's poblano and ancho peppers. Now, poblano peppers that I bought the seeds from, they came from Georgia. And then the ancho peppers I bought the seeds from came from California. So what I did was, I put 24 of each. So I've got 24 poblanos and 24 anchos. Of course, I know that they're the same pepper, but one might be a little hotter than the other or something like that. I don't know. But I've got them done. I've got them here on our table. And now the next step is to just take 
good old water and pour in here until it stands about a half inch deep. Let that sit for a minute, let it run everywhere it's going to go. Then I look back here at the back tray and the water's there, but it's absorbing up pretty quick. So I'll go ahead and give it a little more. Now I always bottom water. The reason for that is there's a thing called damping off. It's a fungus that gets on top of your plants and I do two things to uh, kind of help that. I bottom water for one and then I use a fan and I'll explain that when I set the light system up. Now we do this stuff for homestead and all the time. If you like these videos be sure to go to our page and subscribe. Hit the bell and it'll tell you when our videos come out. We try and upload our videos every Sunday. So it's time for me to get on to the next thing.